Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP Wi-Fi projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to do an integration of PHP and SQL with SAP UI5. And yes, you can integrate anything, any open source technology with SAP UI5. So you need to have basic knowledge of PHP as well as SQL. And you need to have IDE. It can be Business Application Studio, Notepad++ or your Web ID. And then you need to have Jamf access because we will be running a server in our local machine via which we'll be running the PHP as well as SQL. And later on also we'll be deploying our application within the Jamf and we can run locally our UI5 application will not need internet to run our UI5 app. And yes, certainly we'll need to have a basic knowledge of SAP UI5. So steps are very simple. So you need to create a simple UI5 project. And inside that you have to write current operations for uh, whatever you want. You can create a table, then you can add forms and you can perform create, update, delete operation on top of that. So within the functions while you are writing those codes, so you need to add PHP calls right php will be called via an api and you need to have uh, a jax call within your functions so a jax call is simple javascript calls right so that is something you all must know already before you proceed and once you are done with that you create a php file in backend and that file is connected to the sql server and in that php file you write crud operations which will be used to you know perform table operations so this is the flow of the application and we, if we further go down into steps, so the very first thing that you need to do is install XAMPP. And once you're done with that, you need to run PHP MyAdmin. So in our use case, our local host is at uh, running at server 81, but by default it is 80. So your your URL will become http double slash localhost colon 80 slash PHP MyAdmin. So once you run this particular URL, you will be able to see the console of SQL. There you can create a DB and few tables within it. And once you're done with this step, so now you'll work on creation of PHP file. So you'll create a simple notepad file and in, you can save it as process.php or whatever name you want. In our use case, it is process.php. And then you need to add some configuration. So very top level, you need to add, you know, if you see the header is added here so that you allow uh, cross uh, origin methods you allow our ui5 application to interact with the php file so this you have to allow in the header section and then we have something called eco post method so that individual functions call can be called directly by the ui5 application so you need to add these two pieces of code at the top and then you need to perform db connection right so php file is there the api will be created automatically by the way the, wherever you save the file and then you connect with this configuration. So you provide the name of the server, it is localhost. Then username by default is called root and db name, the db that you create. And once you are done with this, then you write these piece of code to check the connections. So yeah, that, that's it you do for the configuration. And once you are done with that, once you save your file in a folder, so where we exactly save, we save it in the XAMPP server folder so within XAMPP there is something called stdoc folder so in our use case it is in local disk c inside that we have XAMPP folder inside that we have stdocs folder and there we have created a folder called hisab h-i-s-a-b this is our own folder we have created inside that we have created a folder called php and inside that we have the file saved as process.php right the same file that we created earlier so we'll showcase everything in our PC also. So just for your theoretical knowledge, these are the steps that we have to perform. And certainly you will need these, right? So we have also written an article for you. So this is the article. The link of the article will be added in the description of the video. So here we have given all the theoretical knowledge as well as the coding part. You can just copy and paste and use it. So whatever steps that we discussed is present here also. The steps are mentioned here also and how exactly it will look like when you run your jam and how to exactly connect your php with ui5 and what will the code written in the php file and the view code and the controller code and the output 
so everything is mentioned here in this article okay fine so we'll now jump to XAMPP first XAMPP is something that we have already installed so this is something that how it looks once it, it is installed these are two buttons that you click to start it so by default it will something like this and when you click on start start it takes some time and it gets started you see the port is 81 so we have used port 81 here by default it comes at 80 uh, our 80 was involved somewhere else that's why we have to use and how exactly we change so in config we have something called apache sctp config file inside that if you search 81 in your case you can search 80 so we are listening to 81 right so that's why it is coming as 81 by default it will be 80 so you don't have to mess with that just to let you know wherever if you have mentioned 81 you have to use 80 that's it so now XAMPP is running the second step that we have mentioned is you open up something called localhost my php admin so not this just this so by default when you open this url in your use case it will be 80 as we discussed right and whenever you open the url these uh, this will be all empty in case if you are opening the very first time and you click on new it will create a you know database and database name will be provided and just click on create just call it test ui5 and we created a database for you and within the database you create table test ui5 table fine columns are there you can give the column name primary key secondary key so these this is the other step that you need to know by yourself uh, we understand that you might not be aware regarding php so that's also is covered so you can visit this uh, url and inside that wherever we have mentioned the php at the top we have provided you the link so when you open that link you can actually go and learn php step by step okay so we'll come back to the learning part so in our use case we are uh, we have already created something called hisab kitab and we have some folder uh, some you know structure already in place so suppose we go with transaction table you see a lot of transactions are created and if you see the structure of the table so these are the fields right and so we can actually perform CRUD operation add data here and up, update delete and perform other operations in generic way whatever sql operations are allowed we can perform all here right so yeah second step is done so you have created your database you have created your table php my admin is working fine now the last step is like you create a new file so suppose i open up notepad and you can save it as you know process.php anywhere so suppose i go to desktop and I save as process.php, make it as all files and save. If I go back, do a simple refresh. So this is a file and this will be all empty, right? So to make it PHP, so we add something like this tags, right? Now this file will become PHP file wrong copy and paste yeah similar to html tags we have php tags so now this is a php file and as discussed we have some header that we are required here so this is to enable ui5 to interact without any issue and yeah that's these two line of code and then you can add your function one function two like this you can click you know uh, keep adding the functions so the very first function we you see okay we want something called transactions right so we'll call it get transactions yeah this is the one suppose this is the function that we have created so the very next step that we have to do is connect our database so for that we have written this configuration the server name is provided username is provided 
db name is provided and then we perform the connection test right and once we are done with this part then we write our simple sql query so these are the queries that we can write perform sql operation like select the star from this table and provide our filters and if something comes just echo it out you know when you echo it out or echo it out these data is sent to the ui so this is a part where you do the read part right and in case of creation let's see the creation of a transaction this is the one same connection is done first connection is tested and then you get the data from the url so from the connection itself we are getting the data right so we have something called object here which it is decoding whatever you are sending in the post operation and those things are fetched and then you perform a sql query of insert simple sql queries you have to know that you have to have a basic understanding of php and then you can add simple php so now the next part is the integration of this php file in ui5 this is the what uh, we actually plan to start with so now we have already created an application for you so if i just close all the tabs so we have created a um, ui5 application we have called it the saab and within this file we have some views and some controllers nothing else is required in terms of configuration suppose the very first file i created is called view transaction or suppose it can be a creation of transaction right so transaction saving is the first file we have created and inside that we have some default functions right on init is there so there we create a url the same url we have provided in the article also so the url structure is something like this localhost colon 81 is our server name same name that we have used to run php my admin right till here so this is something that our zamp is running and after that the name of the folder that has the file so now i'll go to this folder where the file is kept so in windows c we have zam folder you will get it once you install a zam and then we have something called stdocs folder and inside it every folder is kept that is required to run right on the server and in our use case we have a folder called hisab and inside it we have a folder called php and inside it your process file same url is created in the same manner hisab php process file So in this way the api is connected to the ui5 application now this url can be always called via ajax so dollar ajax this url that we have created and then whatever ajax query you do if you want to do post call you do the post call you send all the data in the json format and make the data type at json and then whenever success comes you show the success or error in the ui fine so i see we have uh, not written success message here right so let's let's write some success message so that in the url we can see that hmm. Fine, simple success message, data saved, nothing else. Refresh the UI5 application. This is the simple steps that we have performed to connect the PHP file. And the rest is simple UI5 application. So again for transaction also, we have performed the same way. So here also we are just adding this URL, doing an AJAX call in the ha handle route map so that when the application loads, whenever the, the particular page is opened up you will by default call your particular function get all clients and whatever data you get from the back end you bind it with the table fine i hope uh, you understood the code in case you have any issue you can always ask in the comment section so if i go and run the demo okay so before we start the demo let's go into this transaction history and see okay so something is already selected here so if we see for all the clients we have two data already in the database 
and nothing else is there so if we go back and start creating a fresh data and okay, let's keep whatever is selected uh, table let's uh, have a old date same date that we see on the ui okay and any any other date and the client can be anyone quantity can be 9000 and 9000 can be the rate click on submit and yeah we got success here right and if you go back and check the transactions again perfect so if you see one more data is shown and even some calculation is done in the back end where it is multiplied with this and this amount is being shown so you see you can perform all the sql operations using mysql using php on top of that and using ui5 on at the top most level and in this way you can run everything in your local now the question is we are running it in our web id right it's on internet so how to run it in local so you just download your zip file whatever is there suppose you go to the ui5 application right click on that and export it so once you export a zip file is created right extract the zip file and just save it back in the same folder so this hisab is actually the same ui5 folder you see the ui5 yml structure is there to run the ui5 application what you need to do same url that you use for php calling can be used for ui5 right so instead of php folder what you need to do is just run hisab web app index.html You see the same thing that you are running on internet can be ran using local server and now you don't need even internet to run your ui5 application so i hope you like this video and will come with more such videos in future thank you very much